What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Today we are battling a VGC uh, 4, 4v4 best 2 out of 3. We are battling BioLiquid. Uh, his Twitter will be in the description below. So I'm going to hit Battle Start. We're going to get going. This is actually the first best 2 out of 3 we've had on this channel for Oros. Um, and I do have another team. I finally finished it. So I think after this episode, we're going to go hop onto Battle Spot and check that out. But um, yeah, so I am going to be like bulk recording and like super bulk recording, like two weeks worth of stuff. So I'll be asking for battles. All over the place. Uh, so, looks like we've got Kangaskhan Smeargle. Oh man. Um, Mian Shao, Sceptile, Heatran, and Zapdos. So, if that is Dark Void, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do against it. Um, I don't have anything that actually outspeeds it right away. Uh, but, you know, honestly, really, my best bet is really to start off with. Cresselia and Altaria, although with the potential, well, he could have Zapdos, um, and then bring Jellicent, and I think Tyranitar might actually be a pretty solid lead. Uh, Tyranitar will help me break Smeargle's Smash, Sla Sash, <sighs> just in case it has it, but it is best two out of three, so we're going to get going with that. I don't have any really response for Smeargle. Um, Sort of difficult to have a response for Smeargle. Uh, Dark Void is avoidable, but not really counterable. Uh, I could be running uh, Magicoat. That is possible, but you know, I like Magicoat on Cresselia, and I had it for a while. But at the same time, uh, I wasn't a big fan of missing out on the Moonblast. Moonblast did help me really well. Uh, is very. I think it's pretty important to have. Excuse me, with, especially with all the dragons running around, and especially since uh, Mega Salamence can't one-hit KO Cresselia, so I think it makes the most sense. That could just be me, though. Um, so it looks like we've got Kangaskhan Zapdos now. I am expecting a, um, a fake out coming. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Trick Room just in case. It, you never know who he's gonna trick. Um, who he's gonna fake out? Uh, and I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice. That's really, honestly, my best play. Um, I'm surprised he didn't start off with Smeargle, but there's always a chance that his Sceptile is the Mega. Uh, there's always the chance that he has double Megas, and that's Kangaskhan and Sceptile. They are both completely different Megas, so they have both completely different uses. Um, unlike, you know, Altaria and Venusaur, I feel like they're pretty much the same thing. It's just, it's more of a tight matchup for me. So if, like, we have a rain team, I'm not really too fond of bringing Altaria, because that's a lot of fast ice beams coming my way. Um, you know, uh, and then there's, like, you know, there's always Pharaoh Thorn who could hit me and pretty much resist me. And in a rain team, I can't really take it out with Flamethrower. Uh, so he is going to Mega Evolve the Kangaskhan. So that that's, I figured as much, that means the Sceptile isn't Mega, so I'm kind of happy about that. Because that, that's probably, you know, believe it or not, I think that might actually be a little harder to beat. Uh... Sounds a little weird, but I think because I don't know, I, I just feel like it would be. Uh, so he fakes out the Altaria, so I will get my Trick Room up because I don't think there's any possible way uh, Zapdos can take me out. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to. He's going to double attack the Altaria, and that actually does not do a lot of damage. Uh, now we do get the Trick Room up here. The question is, is do I want to keep Altaria alive? Um, I want to say yes. I, I really do think that's probably my best bet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Psychic the uh, Zapdos. Uh, because I think that might actually be the biggest threat to me right now. And I'm going to switch into... I could either go for Tyranitar or Kangaskhan. Now, I'm pretty sure I walled Jellicent with Kangaskhan. Or I walled Je Kangaskhan with Jellicent. Unless he's running Crunch. Um, I mean, I do have to attack at some point, but maybe not. Um, so I think Kangaskhan, Tyranitar is my, probably my best bet. Uh, it will take the HP heist really well. Uh, it won't have to worry too much about Thunderbolt coming in next turn, because uh, Psychic is obviously not going to one-hit a Zapdos. Um, 
Uh, he does end up withdrawing, so that is an interesting choice. Okay, so into Heatran. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I switched into Tyranitar. Now, Psychic will not do a lot. Now, uh, I'm expecting a return from the Kangaskhan onto... Ooh, okay, cool. Uh, no, Crunch. Okay, so you are running Crunch. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now, that actually... Two hit KOs me. Damn, okay. Um... I doubt I can take out this Kangaskhan with a single Rock Slide Psychic combo. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch into Jellicent. Um, oh, that's actually a really stupid play. No, 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 no. We're not going to switch into Jellicent. Well, let's think about that for a second, actually. Because he just went for Crunch on my Cresselia, right? He knows we have Altaria in the back. It's very obvious. I could switch into Altaria there to take that crunch, and I think he's going to see that coming. So I am going to switch into Jellicent. I don't care how stupid that sounds, I am going to do that. And um, I think my best bet, because Heatran's probably going to be carrying... I don't know. I'm going to go for Rock Slide. We'll see how that works. I, I wanted to go for crunch onto Kangaskhan, but I, I was very fearful of... Um, not getting any damage off onto the Heatran. Um, and, of course, I missed the Kangaskhan. And that is what I was... Wow, that does good damage, actually. Uh, so he's probably going to go for Eth... Oh, no, he goes for Heat Wave. Okay, so let's see if he goes for Crunch or Return. Judging by the Heat Wave, I really want to say he's going to go for... Oh, he's going to attack Tyranitar. Ooh, Drain Punch. Now, that is scary as hell. That was horrifying. Okay, hello, welcome to the horrifying show. Um, okay, so now I can bring in Altaria. That was... Pfft. Drain Punch is scary. So I'm going to bring in Altaria here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just... Because obviously I have a Jellicent in, so I don't think he's going to be really doing anything against me with the Heatran. I'm going to focus fire this Kangaskhan. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse and uh, Scald. We'll see what we can do. If we can burn this Kangaskhan, I will be very happy. But I think at this point, Kangaskhan is actually a lot worse now. And of course he predicts me. Oh, that is freaking balls. Um, oh man. Okay, so what are you going to do then? Flash Cannon? Flash Cannon. Okay, I should have realized that you had Flash Cannon. Uh, that was a very bad play on my part. I completely forgot. Uh, I've been using a Heatran recently with only Lava Plume, so I completely forgot and spaced that it had Flash Cannon. So that was a stupid play on my part, but that's fine. I am okay with that because we still have Jellicent. Um, so I'm going to go for Scald on the Heatran. I don't want to focus fire this because... I just don't think it's going to work. We lost to Kangaskhan. I'm fine with that. Now, we should have focus fired it. He, he's pretty good. He's a good battler, so we're getting our butts handed to us. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, we'll probably lose one of the two. He's probably going to take out Jellicent this turn. Uh, that would be the best bet. And yes, he is going to. Now, we're max HP, max defense. I wonder if we can survive this. We can. Very cool. Uh, that is good to know. Something very, very good to know that we can kind of stop Kangaskhan in a way. Sort of. Uh, not 100%, but we can kind of do it. Um, so, Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Uh, that kind of means that we lose our Jellicent, but I have a bit of a trick up my sleeve. I have Protect on my Jellicent. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to Protect and hope for the best. Now, we do have that Heatran on the field, but I, I don't think I can really do much against it as long as the Kangaskhan's out on the field. Um, as long as the Kangaskhan's out on the field, I can't touch it. Um, but he does very correctly predicts the crunch, and there's nothing I... Ooh, I survived that, kind of. Nothing I can do, so that's unfortunate. I do want to look at my team on Showdown real quick and see... Maybe I don't have anything for Mega Kangaskhan, because when I made this team, I didn't really... Oh, I have Ferrothorn. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. I do have Ferrothorn, so I'm going to Scald the Heatran. Maybe he'll miss a crunch. I doubt it. Um, so I'm going to say good game. That was the first match out of two. Uh, so good game. Good game. 
moving on to the round two. So I do have Ferrothorn for it. Now, he does have Drain Punch, but I don't think that really matters. Uh, I do have Worry Seed, so uh, as he Drain Punches, I can Worry Seed. I'm pretty sure I can survive a Drain Punch. I cannot survive a Hammer Arm, but I can survive a Drain Punch. Now, I'm really curious. I do really like... Um, Drain Punch on Kangaskhan. I want to see what else it's got. It probably got quite a lot, quite a boost. It's probably a lot better now than it was in X and Y because it probably gets the punches. Uh, it gets Ice Punch. It gets Thunder Punch. It gets Fire Punch. Yeah, it is definitely a lot better and a lot scarier. It gets Aqua Tail. That, believe it or not, is actually relatively scary on Kangaskhan, um, since Rock types do resist it. Now, I mean, it does get Drain Punch, so it's not the end of the world, but um, it gets Helping Hand. Now, that is something that I could get behind. I could use that I do like helping hand helping ooh, excuse me helping hand is definitely one of the coolest moves in my opinion I really like the support options with helping hand but before I start going into team theorizing and stuff like that we should get back to the battle so now okay so with that said we probably want to bring Ferrothorn this turn um, Ferrothorn obviously cannot touch Heatran so that leaves us with having to bring Jellicent if we're going to want to bring Ferrothorn. Now, Ferrothorn can probably stand up to Zapdos, but Zapdos probably gets Heat Wave. So, that being said, Altaria is again really important. So, what do we do? I say we bring the same leads. Well, yeah, I say we bring the same leads because that definitely guarantees that we can get Trick Room off with me so far. So Ferrothorn and Jellicent, I think that should work. I'm going to hit confirm. We're going to get going. I don't know if I really have enough for his team. Um, he could... It's a very well-made team and uh, I, my team's very well-made, but eh, it's pretty good at beating my team. So he does start off with Samirgle. Now here's the issue. What do I do? Um, I really don't like Smeargle using Dark Void. I, pfft, if I ever use Smeargle, I might use Spore and Spit instead. Uh, there's always the chance that it misses and stuff like that. And, you know, the threat of Dark Void scares people enough. Uh, and I, th I think that's enough to warrant not using Dark Void. Because if you miss it and you rely on it, not that he, he relies on it. We haven't even seen him use Dark Void yet. But if you miss it and your strategy relies on it, then you're done. Like, I've, that has happened to me before. People have tried to use Dark Void. They miss, or I Magic Code it back. And then they just instantly forfeit because they're like, I needed that sleep can't say that they definitely needed it but they thought they needed it so I don't know a lot of people do rely on that so afraid of what could happen I'm gonna go for trick room um, and I'm gonna mega evolve and go for hyper voice I think that's literally my only option and we just if he does go for dark void we just have to pray that he misses both of us and that's not gonna happen. So we'll see what he does. I don't have any Lumberry on my team. I think I should, but I don't know who I would give it to. I could give it to Tyranitar. I don't know if it needs that life orb. Okay, so he does figure out the Cresselia, and that's not good. I was really hoping he wouldn't. And he does go for Dark Void. Oh, that is so unfortunate. But we don't know yet if it's if it worked. Avoided. Oh, but he faked us out, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's unfortunate. Maybe I could put it on Tyranitar. That is a possibility. Um, I like Rocky Helmet on Ferrothorn. I like Citrus on Jellicent. Um, I have Black Sludge on Venusaur for some reason on Showdown. And I like Safety Goggles on Cresselia, because that helps me beat opposing Venusaurs and opposing Amoongus. Um, hmm. So now that we're asleep, I don't really know what to do. Now we could hope for a first turn wake up, but I think he's just gonna go for another, another um, dark void. And switching out would put me in a bad position. But I don't know. 
I think he's gonna double. He's gonna double this the Cresselia. Um, I, should I just pray that I can avoid it again? I mean, there's no, I have no counter for my team, so it's either I pray that Cresselia avoids it, or I pray that whoever I bring Zin avoids it. Um, and I really don't think he's. Well, he could double attack the Altaria. You know what? Since this isn't a tournament, and it. You know, my, my win-loss record really doesn't matter. I'm going to stay in it, and I'm going to go for Trick Room. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, A, if I miss, cool. B, I have a feeling he might want to try and take out Altaria. And I'm curious to see how much I take. Uh, no, okay, so I was wrong. He does go for Crunch, but that's fine. I, we know we can take that, so if he misses Dark Void, we're in a good position. Um, if he doesn't go for Dark Void, I don't, I don't really know why you wouldn't. Um, he goes for Transform. So can we wake up? That's the question. We cannot. Oh, jeez. But he transforms into Altaria. I do get Trick Room up. Now, we know what he has with the Altaria. And we know that the King is kind of can take us out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into Ferrothorn here. And I can either go for Hyper Voice... Uh, and just hope to hell that I can take it, you know? Um, if I can take it, I don't think he can take it. And I think I can take it. I know that sounds crazy, but I really do think I can take it. I max HP, uh, he's, he's, he doesn't have as good special, uh, at good HP. <sighs> I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I'm just really hoping I can wake up, and I'm really banking on the fact that maybe I can take a Hyper Voice. Maybe he'll go for for flamethrower, predicting the uh, Ferrothorn to come in, and, and we've seen him being being able to predict very well. Um, he does go for hyper voice, and he's slower than me, so he won that speed tie. And we do take it. We do take it. So that means he won't take it because he has less HP. That a hundred percent means he should. Die. What? No. Oh. Why? Okay, but we did predict that correctly. He did go for the crunch. Okay, so so far so good. <laughs> happy about that um and he'll take damage from that now the drain punch the drain punch my friends i don't know if we can take it so he won the speed tie oh wait no i think he's gonna go down now oh wait a second i forgot that it hits twice oh sweet beautiful so we can take him down with a, a gyro ball uh without a doubt in my mind i think we can without a doubt in my mind i am not sure that does not make sense now does it okay so I was right that I could take a Hyper Voice, and I'm glad I was right I could take a Hyper Voice, right? Um, but now I'm still in a pretty bad position. Um, I want to take out the Smeargle. I'll be quite honest, I'd rather take out the Smeargle than worry about the Heatran. So I'm going to protect. I'm just going to let him take me out with Heat Wave. I needed the Ferrothorn for Kangaskhan, and I got what I needed. Frick! Oh, I forgot you had Protect too. God damn it! Oh man, please tell me you went for Flash Cannon. You didn't go for Flash Cannon, you jackass. Oh my god. That was terrible. Oh man. Oh man. I forgot you could use Protect. I'm so used to Smear. I am so used to Smeargle's running choice items. Oh man. Um, that's fine though. Jellicent's slower than my Altaria, so I'm still fine with that. Um, Scald will still take it out, and um, Heatran will probably still die so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to scald the altaria and uh, i'm just gonna go for very lovely uh dragon pulse since it's not quad resisted i should under speed unless he's running iron ball which he probably isn't because altaria went first right no he didn't go be after altaria during the trick room turn okay that makes sense I doubt he's wearing focus, um, Iron Ball. It's probably Focus Ash. And the fact that I was... Okay, so Heatran does protect. Now, that's fine. Because Jellicent should outspeed the Smeargle. And it does. Good. 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 And good. Because I think I have one more turn left of Trick Room. And depending on what he has in the back, um, Heatran cannot touch my, my um, Jellicent. It, it really can't. Um, so I'm not really concerned about it at all. Uh, and he sends in Sceptile. Beautiful. Oh, that is good. So we know he can't Mega Evolve, so I'm just going to go straight for the Scald on the Heatran. And I'm going to go for the Flamethrower on the Sceptile, and that should be 
game. Unless the Sceptile has Focus Dash and the Smeargle didn't. In which case, I don't really know why that would be. Oddly enough. Um, yeah. So maybe it's not Mega Sceptile, maybe it's just a bluff. Because mo most people in the beginning of Oros would be like, Oh, he's using a Sceptile. That means he's... Oh, Detect. Oh, that's weird. Um, oh, that means he's definitely using... Mega Sceptile! I, I don't know. Um, oh my god, that does nothing. Oh my god, that does literally nothing. We're in a bad position, actually. Oh my god, this is not good. Actually, wait a second. Oh goodness. Okay, so I have a... <laughs> I have a Cresselia that doesn't have very much HP left. Um, who he could take out really easily. I'm not going to protect because part of me really wants to believe that he is not going to attack the Jellicent. Because if I protect here and he doesn't attack the Jellicent with the Sceptile, I seal my fate. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do, we're Scald in the Heatran because... Oh, should I Scald it or should I just Scald the Sceptile? No, because that's not going to do enough to... to yeah, no, no, that's what we're doing. We're scalding the Heatran and Psychic. Who are you Leaf Storming? No, you're, you're Leaf Storming the Jellison. Okay. Um, damn, good game. That There's nothing I can do, I don't think. Um, unless he misses the Heat Wave, which I really don't think he will, and he doesn't. Will this take me out? I'm pretty sure it will. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going to say good game. We got close in that one. We got close. Uh, good game. Gain. I said gain. Good game. Um, we got close. We got close. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, it's fine. Not bad. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, we lost again, but that's fine. Uh, I will be bringing the new team to the next episode. Um, and I've been testing it out, and I really like it. And I'll give you a good run on. Um, on why I made the decisions for that team, um, why I changed things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.